welcome back to my channel friends so today i am with another subject that is turbo machine as far as mechanical engineering is concerned so it is one of the most important subject in the mechanical engineering and it is considered as one of the toughest subjects in the mechanical engineering as this is on the basis of uh, thermodynamics basic thermodynamics and after applied thermodynamics it is the high, uh, what we call as the higher form of these two subjects basic thermodynamics and applied thermodynamics applied then uh, I will tell you the easy and uh, easy and what we call as experience tricks uh, based on this subject how to pass it how to kill it without uh, attempting the uh, numericals uh, and you just focus on the theory part so that you can easily pass it so before we start this strategy how to pass uh, this particular subject let me tell you friends first passing subject is not just about uh, what we call the memorization but a deeper understanding and practical application should be there so it is about uh, embracing the subject and um, uh, which you can enjoy the learning process and developing a what we call as a winning mindset over here but uh, as we all know that we don't have such an education system uh, where you are supposed to write the lot of assignments lot of record books so that it becomes burden for for students uh, to get the time for these type of sub subjects so that they can uh, have some deeper knowledge on these type of subjects so uh, let me start uh, with this uh, strategy model wise uh, so that I can clear your all doubts and I will what we call is make you clear how to pass it So module first friends you just focus on these parts. I have uh, what we call is figuring out I have figured out uh, some topics over here which you have to prefer so that you can easily this uh, subject So first one is uh, define the turbo machine with neat sketch. They will ask you like that and then after uh, with uh, differentiate between turbo machine and displacement machine it is one of the important questions as far as video examination you can refer your previous year papers and you will definitely see this question as one among them so then model prototype problem the uh, these type of problems you definitely you have to prepare uh, then only you can make 20 marks possible in this particular module i will show you some interface of this uh, problem uh, hopefully i have my notes over here so so these are my notes uh, my dear friends these are, are of turbo machine and first module so there will be like these problems uh, all the given data this uh, g h uh, and n d speed manometric head and this uh, gravitation gravitational acceleration so it is given all is given here just you have to put values then only you can calculate the speed of the prototype and power developed by the prototype like that and also the ratio of flow rates from flow coefficients in the examination they will ask you like that uh, just calculate the speed power and what we call as the flow rate over here so these problems you have to prefer over there in the first module so that you can clear uh, the theory part and just this uh, on this particular module you have to go through uh, the uh, what we call the numerical part over there and these are the easy numericals in the first module rest of the modules are difficult uh, you have to apply some uh, deep knowledge you have to apply some fundamental principles of uh, basic thermodynamics and applied thermodynamics in rest of the numerical so don't go there and just focus on the theory part and derivation part so only in first module you have to attempt the uh, problem part over here then define uh, define specific speed of pump derive an expression for the same in terms of discharge speed and head so these are the four topics i have just figuring out in this particular module just to go through these topics you will easily pass you will easily score 10 marks in this particular module then the second module comes uh, in the second module there are four derivations which you have to prepare then only you can make 10 marks possible in this particular module so one is Euler's turbine equation and the interface of this uh, Euler's turbine equation is here you can see easily this is Euler's turbo equation you have to draw this diagram and uh, like triangle is here and then you have to what we call as prove the equation that is uh, what we call as Euler's equation okay all right so this is the Euler's equation at the end so p is equal to m of vw1 u1 minus vw2 u2 and this is the uh, Euler's equation over here then another part comes this is alternate form of Euler's turbo equation go through this and then utilization factor of uh, relationship between degree of reaction and utilization factor and show that for maximum utilization factor of an axial flow turbine with reaction is equal to 1 upon 4 the speed ratio is given by 
phi is equal to 2 upon 3 cos of alpha 1 where alpha 1 is equal to nozzle angle with respect to tangential direction so you have to prove this one phi is equal to 2 upon 3 cos of alpha 1 this is your model 2 only 4 derivations you have go through then easily you can make 10 marks possible in this particular model ok right then model 3 comes model 3 in model 3 you have to cover uh, just 4 topics one is classification of steam turbines and uh, next one is maximum blade efficiency for the level turbine and expression for maximum blade efficiency for 50% reaction steam turbine so you have to first you have to calculate this maximum blade efficiency so equation is uh, efficiency of blade is equal to cos square of alpha 1 this is the first equation that is maximum blade efficiency for the level turbine then another expression that is expression for maximum blade efficiency for 50 percent reaction steam turbine so equation is efficiency of blade is equal to 2 cos square alpha 1 upon 1 plus cos square alpha 1 you have to derive just these two equations over here then compounding which is also called as multi-staging of steam turbine so there are three types uh, you can go through pressure compounding velocity compounding and pressure velocity compo compounding in uh, combined form so just go th uh, through these four topics in module 3 so that you can easily make 10 marks possible also in this particular module without attempting the numericals over there okay then module 4 comes so in that module just go through again theory part that is what is uh, they may ask you what is the draft tube and write its functions and classification of classifications of hydraulic turbines in that also efficiency will become uh, come over there so hydraulic efficiency is volumetric efficiency mechanical and overall efficiency you have to write uh, write it over there then after two important questions in this particular module the probability is high in this uh, particular module these questions will come up over there so first one is work done by the Pelton wheel so the equation is w is equal to u u into v1 minus u into 1 plus k cos of beta 2 upon gc so this is the equation you have to calculate over there that is work done by the Pelton wheel and another part that is show that maximum hydraulic efficiency of a Pelton wheel turbine is efficiency is equal to 1 plus cb cos of beta 2 upon 2 this is the equation for the maximum hydraulic efficiency of a Belton wheel this is the most important question and probability is high also in this module so triple star I am writing it over here so focus on these two uh, derivations over here and uh, only upon these three questions this is the module 4 then the last module 5 comes in the module 5 there are the three parts are heads of centrifugal pump and suction head delivery head static head manometric head so these are the heads of centrifugal pump this is also an important theory question as far as model fifth is concerned then after efficiencies of centrifugal pump this is again an important part then uh, work done by the pump then uh, pressure rise in pump impeller and manometric head so it is given by hm is equal to n manometric into u2 minus vf2 cot of beta 2 into u2 upon g so this is the equation for the pressure rise in the pump impeller this is one of the most important question also my dear friends so you have to focus only then only you can make uh, it uh, make the subject possible to pass in the video examination <coughs> then minimum starting speed this is also an important casing used in centrifugal pump uh, and then you have if you are uh, if you are having some fundamental concepts about uh, applied thermodynamics basic thermodynamics then go through problems problems are easy just based on these particular formulas uh, in this uh, module fifth also in the third module you can attempt the problems sorry of module fourth you can attempt the problems over there only based on that type of derivations which you already done which i have told you how um, how many derivations you have to do over there so these two derivations you have to do there and you have to calculate work done and uh, hydraulic efficiencies of Pelton wheel turbine on that basis they will ask you some questions so uh, it is a matter of concern for most of the students uh, especially this subject turbo machine most of the students are having backlogs in these subjects they don't need to now score uh, this subject uh, even out of out they will not consider it only just uh, one student needs 20 marks for it just because they will not consider it for the cgpa purpose after getting the backlog in these subjects also it uh, backlog itself is a burden for students so after when uh, they get backlogs in these subjects so 
it becomes uh, very difficult for them to focus on the subjects and a lot of uh, depression is coming lot of temptations of uh, uh, students are facing over there so i hope my dear friends i have cleared all these uh, topics uh, in this particular subject so that you can easily kill it i hope so you will definitely kill it this time as uh, exams are near only 10 days left now so at the last i will you can just uh, pause the video for a while so that you can take a screenshot of it screenshot uh, you can take it okay this is the module first then module second then after module 3 then module 4 you can take a screenshot and then after module 5 so pause the video for a while so that you can take it screenshot over there so these are the topics these are the most uh, important topics which you have to cover my dear friends so i hope this video is beneficial for you people so like it and subscribe it so that i can make a content for you people much more beneficial content for you people thanks for watching my video